Hi, my name is Thomas Wayford. I'm a seminarian for the Diocese of Erie. Um, I'm currently studying in St. Mary's Seminary in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, in my first year of theological studies and my third year of formation total. Um, <clears throat> the purpose for this vlog uh, is primarily because one of my brother seminarians ended up uh, saying that one of the best kept secrets in the church today, uh, aside from the Eucharist, is actually uh, what the seminary is and what goes on there. And, uh, and frankly, I found that to be a, a true statement. Um, so that's what I'm here for. I'm here to kind of lift the veil, if you will, on what exactly we do here. Um, <clears throat> so that's what we'll be covering over the next uh, nine or so weeks, nine to 10 weeks, uh, kind of covering what is the seminary, what's the purpose of it, um, what's it supposed to do, uh, the, the various, uh, we, we call them pillars of formation, they're areas that we focus on to, uh, to grow as a, a man for Christ, um, what we do with our free time, all that kind of stuff. So we'll be running through that over the next several weeks. Um, <clears throat> however, I figured that probably the best place to start would be how I ended up here. <clears throat> um, I'm not what you would call the standard seminarian. Um, I didn't uh, dream of being a priest since I was a, a little boy. In fact, uh, it, it, it only crossed my mind in so far as, ooh, that sounds cool. Um, and then promptly go out and, you know, play outside and build some fires and, you know, play in the crick and that kind of stuff. Uh, so, you know, even, even as late as high school, it didn't, I, I had my life planned out. I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to be an engineer. I wanted to get married, raise a family, um, grow old and die in the friendship of Christ. Uh, I, that, I had my life planned out. Um, as you can see, God didn't quite listen to that plan. Uh, it was my second year in college, uh, going for my undergraduate in mechanical engineering, that uh, I, I really started getting, you know, th this, this idea of entering the seminary kept popping up again and again and again all through my prayer. And it, it got to the point where I couldn't ignore it anymore. Um, so I did what the next step was. I got, I contacted one of the local priests and asked him to be my spiritual director. And <clears throat> he walked me through the discernment process to see if I should enter seminary. Um, you know, one, one of the big steps was uh, whenever I finished college, should I take the job that I was offered down in Pittsburgh or should I enter seminary? And uh, <clears throat> it ended up being, <clears throat> it ended up being a, a decision through prayer to go down to Pittsburgh, but really it was go down to Pittsburgh and wait, keep waiting for the answer. And that should have been my first clue, but it was, it was good for me to go down there, live on my own, all that kind of stuff. But eventually after eight months of just sitting there with this constantly hammering away, what about seminary? You promised to live your life for God. What about seminary? And finally, one of my coworkers, who was an active member in one of the parishes in Pittsburgh, looked me in the eye and said, what are you scared of? Well, what I was scared of was that I wasn't going to be happy. But whenever I took that to prayer that night, it, I, I realized how ridiculous that was. Right? Because God is God. And if God is God, then... And, the, and I know that he loves me, then he would want me to be happy. So if he was calling me to the priesthood, then I knew that I could be happy there. And, and knowing that intellectually is one thing, knowing it in your heart is another. I grew to know that in my heart over time. But it was at, it was at that moment of intellectual knowledge that I, uh, that I called our vocations director, Father Mike Polinick, and, uh, and started the application process. Did that eliminate all of my doubts? Not at all. Um, all of my fears? Hardly. But you take the leap 
and you trust that God's going to catch you. Um, and honestly, it, over that period of time, I've never been happier, never been happier in my life than I have been whenever I entered seminary. Does this mean that I am going to be ordained a priest? I, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But I want to. I, I, I think that's what God is calling me to do. I want to. But that's the purpose of seminary. Seminary is is a time of discernment. It's figuring out what God is calling you to do, if he's calling you to be a priest. Um, and so whenever you enter in wholeheartedly, you know that God's going to let you know in the end. <clears throat> God willing, I'll be ordained. God willing, I won't be. We'll see. So anyways, that's my story. Uh, we'll be diving in a little bit more into the seminary as the weeks go by. And uh, we'll talk to you then. Ciao.